Hey guys, Sokker from Sock e Tech, and in today's video we have a great new update for Samsung Galaxy smartphones and this should be applying to all Samsung Galaxy smartphones. One UI 6.1, 6.0, whatever you got. So let's dive in and see exactly what's going on. Now this particular update actually comes to the gallery application and inside the gallery application particularly it comes to the edit feature which is the built-in photo editor in the gallery application. So let me show you what the new update brings to the table. Now first and foremost to get the update what you want to do is you want to click the link down below. Once you click the link you are going to be at my website. Then you scroll down just a little bit. Under download you click this link right here and once you click that link it is going to take you to the Galaxy Store where you can update the photo editor. Okay. Now before I click update let me show you what you get before the update so you can see exactly what the update actually does. You can see right over here it says reorganize the layout and improve the selection method for spot color feature and also changed object erasers methods of selecting objects. So look at this. I'm going to go over here I'm going to tap on edit okay and then over here you have a bunch of items you can use to modify your photos. One of them is known as the object eraser which is a very popular feature and with the object eraser if you want to erase an object on this photo as an example you can simply tap on the object or you can actually let me just undo that uh, select the object this way and you can see it magnetically attaches snaps to the outline of that image and then you can tap on erase and that removes that object by trying to make it look nice and clean. Okay. So I'm going to go back, cancel this out. So now let's do the update and see what is actually new. So if I tap on update, okay, it's going to take a quick process. It is a 54 megabyte update, as you can see. The update is now complete. I'm going to go back to the photo gallery over here. That's the same photo. Now I'm going to tap on edit and I want you guys to notice something new. Tap on this again and go to the object eraser. Now on the top, you have this magnetic lasso tool, all right, which can be disabled. By default, this is what it does. When you select something, it magnetically attaches to the outline of an image within the area that you just circled or selected. Okay, let me show that one more time. Look at that. It's going to snap onto that guy in the middle. So I'm going to undo that. So what if you don't want to use the snapping feature and you want to manually select the area that you want to remove. So look at this. I'm going to go out, right? I'm going to tap on magnetic lasso. Now it is disabled. So now when I select this guy's head, it is not going to snap onto the whole guy. It is going to only allow me to remove that particular area. I can tap on erase. It's going to do the erasure and it's going to make the thing do whatever it has to do. So this is not a great image to give you the example, but I'm sure you get the idea. With the object eraser, now you can disable that magnetic lasso tool. Again, this is the magnetic lasso stuff right here. Undo it. Tap on this to disable it. Now you can select any area. Normally, if I have this enabled and if I select any area, it snaps onto random spots sometimes that you don't want it to. It just uses AI to snap onto uh, certain outlines within the range of what you selected. Look at that. Okay. So if I disable this, now I can precisely select what I want. And of course, you, by zooming in, you can make it more precise. So if I just wanted to get rid of this area right here. Now by zooming in, I'm able to do that. Look at that. Okay, so that's great. This gives you greater control with more precise editing when it comes to object eraser tool. And then with the spot color, what they did was they actually improved the algorithm. It looked like they changed the way it looks, but they did not. They actually changed the algorithm so it actually works better. So look at this. Here's an image. When I tap on the spot color, you get the gray image. Now what if parts of this image I still want the colors all I do is I can bring my finger here and I can go over let's say right here let's say I want the image to be colored right here if I let it go it is going to use the color right there and it's going to give me that uh, color let's see if I can do it over here uh, right here 
Okay, so you can see the guy got colored. So I can do these kind of editings with the spot color, but looks like the algorithm itself has been improved, again, to give you more precise spot color option with that newest update, which is right here. And again, if I go down here, 54 megabytes, April the 4th, version 3.4.21.43. Okay, guys, but that's basically what it is. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. For now, have a fantastic day.